Sean, I'm glad you're feeling better. I, I, uh, I dread the day that that's going to happen to me soon. I only have two notes from last session. Uh, it literally is just uh, your all's ACs. No, no, your initiative order. It just says Nixie Toad Fog and has a line through it now. And then it says this is this is this is I guess this is about doors now, and that's all I have for notes. Uh, uh, I also have additional notes of uh, we see the portals, and I have an X-ray ring. Also, Seek is gone. Uh, yeah. Also, Golem of Death. Also, yeah. Crystal Spire equals Judgment. Those are my notes. My notes that I didn't write down. But do remember, our we found the artificer and did stuff. Oh yeah, that artificer. was kind of important. Yeah, artificer is kind of a big deal, I guess. Anyways, you're finding stuff for the artificer, maybe, and then you're trying to find the actual artifact. Um, and that's it. And uh, here we are. What do you guys want to do? Gabriel's uh, gonna pick up one of these rocks and throw it into the portal. <laughs> Uh, yeah, you, well, there we go. You throw a rock into the <laughs> portal, and um, all of a sudden you hear, no, I'm just kidding. It just goes in the portal. It doesn't come out the back end. It goes clearly into some other place. All right. With that being um, clear, I'm going to bend down and take up my piece of chalk. I'm going to write down, uh, hi, from Caper and Friends, and throw another one in there. Oh, in the uh, rock. Just- yeah, okay. yeah, on another rock and throw another one in there. Oh, I, I threw the first one guaranteed. for me. <laughs> oh, man. Ah, uh, just in case there's anyone in there. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> that doesn't sound good. The Jabberwock has arrived. Are we all going to die? Because you did find some new crazy monsters, remember? Uh, hey, Cthulhu. They're both there. <laughs> this, Together. This, 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 Team this, this, up! This, this. Optimus Prime is there too, but he's dead. <laughs> okay, let's Ross's see. Ross's suffering in this moment gives me life. <laughs> I hate you, Kevin. <laughs> yeah, I heard that. I get the feeling I, I hear that now with my new headset. It's funny. <laughs> Your tears sustain me. <laughs> what? The best part wow. is that you don't have to do whatever you're doing to yourself. You're choosing to do it. You could just be like, nah, but you're you're just... You know, really? you're yeah. self-flangulating right now. <laughs> right, let's see. Be the, no, be the bigger person. Oh, what? Caleb, when I... When I... I don't... I'm not going to go into it. I, I'll say this much. I have tables and rules for myself. And I, I will not break them. Whatever happens... When I roll the dice and I consult it, that's it. And I'm not going to let myself, I'm not going to let me, the dungeon master, say, no, I think that's more interesting or no, that's easier. I get the feeling we're about to die. Oh, I, I, I know, and I respect that a lot, and it's the source of my laughter. What I'm hearing is a very polite, Caleb, get fucked. <laughs> like, to I note think... that, like, as a dungeon master, you can curate your tables, though. Then what? leave it up to the dice. <laughs> like, you don't have to leave every world ending monster on there just Mason, put, put on a jacket or you're gonna get sick okay this is good yeah news. i wish i could tell you i wish i could tell you what i rolled and why but um you get the same rock back uh it looks like it has claw marks on it and it says um gods please help us uh Farron, do you know uh, what this is about I look at it. Do I understand? No, what no. This is talking about? Caber, you threw a rock into the portal mm-hmm. after you said, Hi, my name's Caber. The rock eventually flies back out of the portal. Mm-hmm. It's got marks on it. It looks like someone has gripped it and it just has written, Gods, please help us. What's it written in? Is Com- it written like. Common. No, like, is it written with chalk? Is it written with charcoal? Is... It's been uh, scraped, like on the rock, with a knife. No, it's I'd... been written with claw marks. No, no, and... just like uh, someone took something sharp and scrawled it on there as fast as they could. And sent oh. back. Uh, do I recognize the handwriting? Uh, nope, it's not. Um, it, it doesn't, you know, there's not any indication that this is. And even if it was, uh, whoever wrote this was under extreme duress. 
All right, I'm going to take out my rope, tie it to the rock, and uh, throw the end with the rock back in there, and hold on to the other end. You're going to think I made this up, but I rolled the dice. <laughs> um... You throw the rock with the rope in there. Mm-hmm. Uh, a, a man uh, cramble, pulls on the rope and then eventually pulls himself out of the portal, and he's screaming inconsolably. <laughs> and he gets down on his on his haunches and shakes and like looks at his hands. Uh, hey, hey, it's okay. Uh, <gasps> hey there. Uh, uh, you're, you're back. You're good. I'm going to pull the rest of the rope out and... And get it like out of the portal, <laughs> so nothing else can come out of there. Okay. And then I'm gonna try to console him. Uh, hey, uh, <laughs> you're 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 fine for now. Um, make a uh, persuasion check. You're good at those. That I will try. Uh, that is a. I can't do math. Uh, sorry. Twenty three. A 23. Um, you uh, do console him, and he says, My home, my family, everything, it's all gone. Uh, oh, uh, hello. Uh, who are you? We, got, we have to establish some uh, ground here. I don't know uh, who you are, where your home was, or who your family was. But, uh, but we here are the heroes of Parenval, we're, we're here to help, okay? Par Parenval, what? What is it? Not, my name is Natar, and I, I, uh, where is this place? Uh, don't worry about that. Uh, where are you from? Gunthus. Where's Gunthus? What do you, what do you mean, where's Gunthus? Uh... Uh, he he's like it's almost like asking um you know what year is it you know like what do you mean uh but he uh let me see here um what do you mean it's the largest city in the world everyone knows who where Gunthus is you've never heard of Gunthus yeah I look at Theron it's Theron never heard of it I'm, I'm assuming I've never heard you of You all have, none of you have ever heard of Gunthus. Absolutely not. None of you have ever heard of it at all. Uh, okay, uh, well, what's going on there? Sounds pretty bad. Something, something appeared. Something horrible. Started ripping apart buildings. People started to melt before it, like, bubbles from a, a, a pond or a brook but in the air and their minds shattered and their bodies fell apart thousands of people what did it look like a machine machine no it looked like a lizard with glassy orby eyes all right uh, well you're I, safe I, now sorry about the rest of your world oh god and he throws up uh, okay, if we now on. have a we now have a civilian in our miss. That's gonna make things easier, I'm sure. Uh, we could just tie him up and leave him here for now. Uh, no, no. I think <laughs> I'm just throwing <laughs> suggestions out there. Don't hate on me, please. I don't. Where am I? What is what is what is Parenval? What is this? Uh, Theron, is this hell? Am, am I you're dead? In a, you're not dead, you're not in hell. You're in a world called the Veil. Vale. It's an in-between place. A place between worlds and planes. Look, you're not ex You're safe enough with us for now. We'll try to get you to somewhere safer. But you're gonna have to stick with us and try to keep your voice down for a while. This place is dangerous. Okay. Hopefully not as, hopefully not as dangerous as where you just came from, brother. But it's still dangerous, so you gotta be quiet, and you gotta stay behind me, okay? I need you to do that. Uh, okay, uh, okay, uh, I'll, I'll do that. Uh, What's your name again? Uh, Natar. Natar, okay, Natar. Uh, just hang in there, we're gonna try to get you somewhere safe. Okay. And he gets up and I... shakily, like, kind of trundles towards you all. 
I turn to Catawan and I just mention and I just tell him, could it be the Guardian went through that portal? Well, you said it wasn't mechanical. It's yeah, probably yeah. just an ill-fated world. I doubt that. Yeah, also, because we were also warned not to look or get in its gaze. And what mm. was ever was getting in the gaze of whatever was in that world was, you know, boiling, bubbling, melting, bad stuff. Oh, uh, well, Theron, uh, I've seen more than one monster. Uh, there, they, there could be multiples. And, you know, uh, he came from a place we've never heard of. They probably have monsters we've never heard of that are worse than what we have here. Yeah, but there's also a portal directly to this area. I'd, I'd have to guess that we haven't seen the creature yet. We haven't gone as far south as we possibly can. So I'd say we are still in for a surprise whenever we see this golem. And is question to the DM, is there any way to close this portal? Um, Would I know of a way to close it? Uh, based on your research and knowledge, um, you know that there are spells that can do that. Um, but I don't know them. Uh, the, the spell the spell magic would certainly do it. Um, and then I spells of a higher level that are similar could do that. I have to spell magic, so if Theron tells me that, then I can do that. Yeah, I mean, I let him know, just because, like, I don't want whatever's over there to come over here. Because, like, we got enough problems as it is. Right. Uh, okay. Uh, hey, look here. Uh, Natar, um, if you want to go back to where you came, this might be your only chance. Everything I, I've known. The, the, the monster, it's it's horrible. I don't uh, want to leave my home. As he sees that you're, like, talking about closing his only way home. Yeah. How long has the monster been over there in your in your city? A couple of days. Team, I have to remind you that the longer we stand and stall, the longer something might come into the room and. Hey, I like. It. Oh, I like. Crap. I grab Natar on the shoulder and I say, "Hey, uh, last chance. I'm closing the door." Um. All right, I'm going to see what he decides to do. Um, what do you... Uh, he, you get the impression that um, he feels safer with you, and he, he looks at you, and he's like, uh, oh, Okay, I'll stay. I'll follow you. I'll rip off the bandaid as fast as I can. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and cast a spell magic at a uh, third level. Uh, do you have to? Wait, uh that that's that's I just think, the level, I think that's the level spell. of spell. Yeah, okay, no, yeah. No, that's right. Because it's like a third level spell. Okay. What's it look like when you do that? Um, I think what it looks like is I take out uh, my flute, and as I play into it, the notes kind of come out like a flame, um, and it kind of uh, it burns around the magic, and then I uh, take the blunt end of my flute and I kind of wipe it away as if I'm like snuffing it a flame out, and it just snuffs out the rest of the magic. And just like a flame, you snuff it out as if it's never there and um uh Ren make a perception check alright perception ah you're funny dice boy are you funny that's a 7 <laughs> oh boy uh <laughs> you don't hear anything everything is fine sure it is I'm sure it is yeah, okay, that was a, that was a cool dispelling of a portal. Ren is uh, impressed. Oh, all right, Hold let's on. get moving. Oh, okay. Hmm? Which way are we going, Catawan? It's time to use this. I suppose that way, but whichever way Catawan wants to go, I'll go. Uh -huh. what? Hmm. Well, you still. What else do we need to find? We've got the buckets of water. What else do we need, gang? We need a the vibrating cylinder. Laughing at Carol. Graphic display case. The and cutlery. <laughs> and instead of netherese cutlery, one can be found in the scullery, an art room, and then the display field container can be found or found in the former head office. Uh, oh, um, I see something what, moving. What uh, I'm that? getting away from that. What is that? Hello. <laughs> yeah, it um, this thing like kind of waddles up next to you, 
um, and uh, it like starts sniffing. <laughs> like, <laughs> that's a great picture. <laughs> it, I've got a dollar for anybody who knows uh, what that's from. Uh, uh, when? Hey, you have a way to uh, handle that quietly? Uh, I, I don't remember say, okay. no, the use and of I would the pictures pause, and start it's sniff, sniffing. It's about like four and a half feet long, like this, you know, um, and about that wide. And it's just like it takes its paw and starts sniffing up uh, Ren's leg. I would like to pet it. Make an animal handling check. Oh, fail me now, dice. I feel like this you make a mockery of me. <laughs> this is your another thing. seven. This is what you're here for. <laughs> I've, I've been rolling dice electronically for a while now, and now I'm using the D and D Beyond imitation real dice, and so I get to watch the dice almost land on sixteen and then land on three, <laughs> and it it hurts every time. Jesus. All right. So listen, uh, I don't succeed. Oh my God. What, <laughs> it's, 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 what is up with your advantage? He says you get advantage because of yeah, plot. That, the advantage yeah, is the seven. Advantage. Oh yeah. my god! <laughs> it, it, it can't get worse than this. That's the it best. Could part. be worse. So I could have been on the other side of that portal. It, it like is scratching at <laughs> you and it like kind of like rears up on you and sniffing you and stuff. And you're getting slobber on you as like its saliva just drips off onto your your belt and your clothes and everything. You try to pet it. And it hates it. It's like, and it like rears up, and uh, it's scared at first, and it scurries off into the darkness. And all of a sudden, you hear, as you hear a bunch of these things in the dark. Okay, let's let's start moving this way. I would like to close the door. <laughs> okay, uh, let's see here. You close the door. Let's let's, let's go this way, guys. Okay. Nope. And uh, oh crap! I just forgot Natar was still here. Yeah, you hear Natar yep, like just like whimpering. Uh, uh Natar, I'm gonna I'm gonna pass Natar. I'm gonna actually hand it to him. I'm gonna hand him a, a dagger and a torch and a ration. I've never uh, used just, a knife before in my life. Uh, don't worry. If you oh, stay close, you won't have to. This is just in case you get separated. Okay. Stick him with the pointy end. Okay. All right. Do I hear anything up here? Um, yeah, you hear like what sounds like a banging noise. Can I tell from which direction it's coming? Uh, from this direction. Okay. I'd like uh, to that's the that's direction. the door room. That's the door room. Oh, that's the door oh. room. Door room. Yep. All right. Uh, so move down do this way. Oh, there, there's a door there. My bad. Can Sorry. We, Go ahead. Natar, can we get a move on? I'm sorry. Yeah, you're good. Just, you know, there's giant mutant rats behind us, and I really don't want to get bit. I've had rabies once. It wasn't fun. You're not making him feel better. <laughs> I Natar, clean off stand behind me, Natar. Stay Just behind me, Natar. I'm going to give you and in Natar. Front of me. I'm going to give it to Catawan, because Catawan's kind of, like, taking charge of, of Natar's well-being, so now you have, you can just, like, drag them together if you want. Okay. Is this door locked? Uh, which door? This one? Uh, it is um, not locked, uh, and it's actually open. And you see a long hallway uh, with the same kind of like patterned floor uh, that you've seen the rest of this uh, the sunken structure. I'd like to can start walking this way, away from how the you, thing. Somebody remind me. How do you group two icons together again? Just drag and click outside of them, and then I'm, them. I'm doing that and it's not working. Uh, right oh. click and then um, advanced group. If it doesn't give you that option, then you don't. You're Wait, did we just walk in one big loop? You did. You've Probably. been in this room before. Uh, this room it has those uh, effigies ah. that you saw before, and uh, these things see you in the dark and they, and they start running towards you. Oh gosh. Oh jeez. Uh, okay. I guess I'm going to try to cast a spell before I get too close. All right. That'll be your surprise round. Okay. Uh, let's see here. Trying to think of something that's not too awful. On noise, I'm not but... able. I'm not able to group with Natar. Okay, I can do it Somebody for you. Help. Okay. Do it. Um, I think you don't have the right, I guess. There you go. It should be grouped now. Can you do it now? I mean, nope. can you move them? 
I can move me, but I can't move him either. Sorry. I think you just gotta, like, click and drag and move him as a group. I'm gonna cast straight. There we go. Right. Now, now, there it is. Okay, I got it now. Alright, what, what are you gonna do, Caber? Very fire. Why did, did he just is move a saving throw? Uh, yes. Dexterity 17. Uh, they all fail. Alright. They are all now emitting a green violet light. Or, or a, a faint violet light. That's what I meant to say. Whoops, that's a bit big. Okay, every time I try to move with Natar, it takes him back to where he originally was. <laughs> what the frick? <laughs> okay, I see. Let me ungroup. Hold on just a second. Where are you now? Okay, let me ungroup you guys. Advanced ungroup. Okay, just drag just drag as a group or drag them individually. Sorry about that. Thanks for the help, Thomas. Let me know if it doesn't I work can't. this time. It's still not working. I can't. I can't. No, it's not working. Oh, I'm sorry. I think I gave. I think I gave. Uh... Oh, weird. I gave it to Sean for some reason. Where is Sean? Like, where? Where is? Uh... Tika left us. You're not. Yeah, you're not sure. Um, she had abandoned her post. The Twilight Realm, known as Arizona. Depending on how smart yeah. you guys are, I may just be oh, okay. here tonight. Okay, I got it now. Now, here we go. Now we're rolling. I'm now not, we're cooking. I'm okay. not trying to punish you, Sean. I did not mean to put you in this situation. <laughs> You're not the like, one punishing me. These guys are. <laughs> Harsh. Harsh. Oh, fair. Okay, sorry. You cast fairy fire. I'm good, That's man. I'm, I'm good at Animal Crossing. Don't worry about me. Everybody can roll for initiative. Dirty 20. I knew it. I knew I'd roll high on initiative. That's always bad juju. Who got, the, who got the... What was? What'd you say, Mason? Uh, dirty 20. Okay. Um, and then, uh, what'd you get, Caber? 18. Caber got an 18. What did you get, uh, um, Ren? 18. Okay. Um, what'd you get, Catalan? 14. Okay, uh, the first person able to act is uh, Theron. How intent do these guys look on killing us? Um, they do uh, actually make a, like a... Excuse me, sorry. I think it would be like an animal handling check. This is like an expertise with the animal situation. All right. Uh... Oh, no. Another... Oh, that's not you. Never mind. I thought that was another seven. I was like, really? Uh, I did get a seven. <laughs> what the heck? Sevens all around. Lucky number seven. It's tonight, really guys. dark in here, Theron, and um, We're it. Emitting uh, a dim light. Huh? They are emitting a dim light because of fairy fire. Right. So. Yes, it is dim light. So it's like you know, in a dark alleyway, like shades. But I also gray. have my lantern. <laughs> uh, it's still dark. It's a dungeon. It's dark in here, and your <laughs> lantern is casting like a flickering light off the the walls and stuff like that and there's these these things that have their like big shadow cast in your lantern light and everything um it's hard to get a read uh given what's happening on what these things uh want um but they're definitely I animals am... i'm going to do cast a fire bolt at the only one i actually the thing is i don't think i could even hit him uh, you could probably move up to this space. You can move to any space, actually. You just can't get in there. All right, let's see. Let's make a... We're going to go, like, up to here, in the corner. And then we're going to try and scare them away using Acid Splash. Okay. Is that a second um, throw? It is a... Dex 14 saving throw for... Nat 20. These two. Oh, okay, two of them. All right, let's do that. Yeah, because they're within five feet, so I can have two of them to... 16. Oh, they both pass. Dang. Uh, then it, I, I just missed them. I mean, he just tried to scare him anyway, right? So his goal was to miss them on purpose. I guess. <laughs> Trying to dissuade their attack and cast ball of ass in their direction okay uh let me see here Oof. okay uh that really pisses them off and they're really oh, enraged and <laughs> mad 
And, uh, let's <laughs> Didn't see. work. Uh, Kaber. Uh, all right, I'm going to use my movement. Get over here with my light. Uh, I'm also going to put away my uh, rapier and draw, or put away my flute and draw my rapier and bang the rapier against the lantern and say, All right, this way, you idiots. Are you going to try to draw them off? Yep. You can make a deception check, but you can apply any skill, uh, any attribute modifier you want. Oh, well, then I'll do performance. Uh, that's a 25. Uh, they, um, they see you doing that, and they're pissed off, and they run after you. What are you, what are you trying to do? What's your intention? Uh, just draw them away from there, and that was my goal. Oh, okay. Um, they're all, do, if I still have an action, I guess I'll poke one with my rapier, but... Uh, yeah, go for it. Okay. I have advantage because of fairy fire. I drop that dice when we roll another one. Uh, that'd be a, uh, 26 to hit. Hits. And it's a rapier, 58, uh, for 8 damage. Okay. Uh, yeah, you do that. Um, it squeals in pain as you uh, drive this blade into a knotted, matted clump of fur. You're not even sure if it's bone or flesh as it crunches into it. Um, and you pull it back Get back, 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 get back. You're like back. backing up as you say this. And yeah. And poking them. Um, yep. Rin. All right, let's take a step in this room, see what's going on. All right, look at that. Wow, so three three things going on here. I think I will cast... You know what, I'm, I would like to cast Ice Knife. Okay. On uh, on the, the gent closest to me. And so you'll it's have very fire, right? Because... Yeah. Yep. So saving throw for the, la the other the three of them. Attack and then saving throw, right? Yes. Uh, so for the attack, does a 14 hit? Uh, uh, 14. Uh, does not hit. Oh, Interesting. Okay, yeah, interesting. and they all make dex 14 saving throws. Uh, let me see if it passes. Um, 14. Uh, two of them pass. All right, brutal. Well, one of them takes... Eight cold damage. Uh, and you kill it. One of them. Hey, Andy. I'll step round. next to Theron. Actually, I'll step in betwixt, in betwixt Theron and rats. And I will end my turn. All this magical energy comes up and ice, you know, sickles are stabbing into trying to hit them. But then um, it doesn't seem to hurt them that much. And in fact, you notice that... Um, uh, when you look at them, that uh, they almost kind of look similar to your spell. Um, and then one of them, though, you like spear, like straight through with uh, an icicle, uh, and it uh, falls over dead. Like it actually like gets stabbed, and then its paws are sticking out, and it rolls over, all bloated and fat, onto its back in front of in front of Caver with its tongue lolling you, out in front of him. You described them as similar to my spell. Could you elaborate on that? They look icicly. I see. Um, and it's their turn. And Kaber has their attention. Bring it on, you mole rats. Uh, both of them miss. Do they have multi-attack? They do not. That's it. Um, that makes it... Uh, Padawan's turn. All right. Padawan is going to move up and tell uh, Natar, Natar, stay here. Don't move. Okay. And, uh... Or actually, Natar, get up there close to Theron. Stay near him. And uh, then I move up. And uh, I cast Word of Radiance on these two. That's a con, uh, con save 14. One passes. Okay. The one that failed takes seven damage. Okay. Um, what does it look like when you kill it? Just bringing down the hammer, baby. Just you come just in flat. and into the room and just like Thor into the room with the hammer and 
crush it along its spine, crack it into two pieces. Um, and uh, that makes it Theron's turn again. I'm going to cast a bolt of fire at this guy. All right. And if he's fairy fire, do I have advantage? Mm -hmm. Yes. All right. Oh. Oh, I forgot to do a thing, too. It's uh, too late now. 23. For the 23 hit. Uh, 23 does hit. All right. So that would be... That would be seven damage. Um, it um, ignites in fire and then runs off. Kaber, you can uh, make an opportunity attack if you want. I'm going to set my lantern on my head and then come out with my rapier and say, Oh, no, you don't. Oh, uh, awesome. at advantage. Oh, I got a net 20. Oh, man. Uh, so let's. Uh, and I rolled a six and an eight, which oh, means man. a total of 16 piercing damage. Uh, describe your kill <laughs> first. Yeah, so I set my lantern on my head, and I say, oh, no, you don't! And I come up, and I stab it, and then, like, once I think it's dead, I take my foot up, and I, like, kick the rapier all the way through it. I'm like, yeah, that's more like it. It, it, like, it like, like, screams as you do this, like, <laughs> and, like, you kick it through it, and then it's just, like, you can see, oh, you just see the back of it, so, like, its paws are just, like, yeah. and, then it, and then it stops moving eventually. I pull my my then, rapier back out and like slop off the blood, put it back in the sheath, take the lantern off my head. Natar's like, "Who are you people? How oh, are the heroes? Heroes of the veil, my friend." All right, Baron, where do we go? I'm so lost. Um, I say we don't go any further south. That's my suggestion. I think we need yeah. to head up this way. Should we travel through the caverns? Uh, let's keep an eye on that water. Uh, I'm worried what's going to come out of there. I'd like to look at the water and see if there's any movement besides, like, a natural current. Uh, just a natural current. Yeah, you don't see any other kind of movement when you look at it. How deep very is cold. the water? It's quite deep, It is deep, also actually. very cold. It's freezing Oh, it's cold. quite deep? Yeah, okay, it's never probably mind. six or seven feet deep. Uh, it looks like you could easily be submerged into it. It has a kind of shelf. Uh, from where the um, where the grit and the the dirt and sand of the cavern space is, and then it kind of goes off into a shelf, just straight down into a deep end, dark uh, water. So, so there's no more cavern this way. It's just a dead end, besides the water. Besides the water that's flowing from underneath. Um, um, uh, okay. Yeah. Guess we're heading south. So there's no open like river right it's just it isn't it goes it's an it's an underground current so you could go in it and go under that that rock right but we couldn't space. like i so couldn't like submerge. i couldn't like make a raft out of stuff in this room and then try to sail down it you could try uh but you wouldn't be able to sit up right in the raft at the very least uh probably not worth it i'll just follow the game yeah noticing yes. that they're just not even caring as i'm just staring at the river they just like i'll start walking away <laughs> <laughs> well, um, Theron, what do you think to take the caverns down or take the hallway down? Um. Well, uh, I'd like to listen down the cavern, see if I hear anything. Yeah, you hear the the water like rushing uh, a current, um, and then otherwise you just hear the sounds of cave sounds and smells. Uh, would I have? any idea where the scullery art room or former head office would be in this place? Um, I think what would be obvious is that those are distinct rooms. So like, right. you know, you would need to try to find where those rooms are. And I know that may sound obvious, but uh, it's not um, in a different location or something, you know, it's, it's, yeah. they're, they're, they're rooms that he's, he talked about. All right. Um, I mean, we could try and go down the cavern, but the items that we're trying to find won't be in there. They'll be, unless this place leads to another part of the uh, ruins. Let's, let's just take the hallway and see what happens. I, that water freaks me out. I, I feel like we've been down here. We haven't been down this way before. Oh, that's okay. 
before we leave the room, uh, Ren would like to look back at the rats on a kind of stoic expression and say, mostly to herself, let this be a lesson, that it is better to be my friend than my enemy. And then leaves. <laughs> and this, everybody's getting dark here. I mean, it's not my fault. Y'all are really... I love it, though. Huh. Do it. Crank it up. Get dark. Um, it wasn't dark at all. That was... You just stared at dead, dead animal carcasses and were like, that'll show you. They this rejected happens, my friendship. This is what happens to my enemies. <laughs> oh, uh, yeah. But no one heard that. Like, Ren just said that, like, alone in the dark. So, I would like to imagine everyone heard it. Or everyone heard it. That's also It's right. just like this her being weird. <laughs> is this like rubble or is this like a wall of rock? Or It probably used to be a doorway or a wall, but it's... Uh, it's fallen down, um, and it's just rubble now. It's about uh, ankle high. I'd like to look at the ceiling to make sure that if nothing's going to fall on us, just try to pass the threshold. And you see that it was about to fall, um, and uh, you step out of the way as it falls down, and it doesn't hurt you because you've noticed that. Okay. I'm going yes. to uh, step through <laughs> the threshold. And say, ah, everyone, watch your step through there. Uh, I'm going to try to listen here at this intersection, see if I can hear anything. You can make an extremely difficult perception check. Uh, perception... Uh, 18. It sounds eerily quiet. All right, I'm just going to pick a direction. I'm going to start walking this way. Uh, come on, guys. Don't get left in the shadows. You, uh, I have a light as well, so... Oh, okay. You, you see a door. Yeah. Mm. Sorry, Ooh. there's the door. Is it, like, uh, wood, stone, metal? Uh, it's metal, but it's uh, thin and banded with other sheets of thin metal. Uh, it looks very utilitarian. I don't think the scullery's this way, but we can try. I'm gonna... Hold my ear up to the door and see if I can hear any movement. It sounds quiet. All right. I'm going to try to open the door. It opens into a dark place. Uh, well, where, consider uh, me wrong. There's a bunch <laughs> of... Uh, it, this is obviously a kitchen space with um, um, things that have since grown up into mushrooms where there were perhaps food scraps left long ago. But it's become its little local ecosystem uh, of uh, bacteria, mold, and fungi. And um, uh, also, uh, there are uh, tables and chairs here. There's no food, though, that hasn't been rotted and turned into fungi and things. The fires are cold in the fireplace, and you don't see anything uh, of use uh, in, the, in the crates if you check those. But um, there are dishes and cutlery here, most of which are ruined and rusted. But, uh, I'm going to dig through the, the cutlery and find a set of decent cutlery. You find a set that was preserved uh, because it was uh, kept in wrapping, and you find a set of fine Netherese cutlery. You nearly oh, cut right. yourself because there, it is so fine. All right, uh, nobody touched that stuff. He points at the mushrooms. I would like to greet the mushrooms. With the traditional greeting of their people. The, the, Whatever that is. The mushrooms greet you back in the traditional greeting of their people, which is nothing because they're mushrooms. <laughs> hey, they some of Ren's like best friends it. are mushrooms, I'll have you know. This is true. All right. They seem, Haber, they seem safe enough. Yes. Haber, brother, be careful. This is getting towards the southern end. Uh, yeah, I'm aware. He had no idea. <laughs> he continued. <laughs> I was, I'm just going to try and keep an eye out to see if I can't hear anything like that, or try and hear anything that comes up behind us if something co try and comes up behind us. I'm going to listen to this door. Uh, it's quiet, and Theron, you don't hear anything either. It's eerily quiet here. I'm going to I'm going to try to sniff the door, see if I can smell anything, because like Kaver realized that there was mushrooms in here, and like if he would have actually taken a deep breath, he probably been able to smell it. So he's going to sniff this doorway and see if he can smell idea. anything come here. Uh, Let's see. Let's take a look here. Uh, um, uh, 
Um, you do smell damp things and moldy type stuff, but otherwise you don't smell anything. I turn back to Catawan and say, might want to hold your breath just in case. And then I'm going to try to open the door. All right. Uh, you open the door and um, as your lantern light, uh, as you open the door and cast your lantern light onto the other side, you see a statue holding a, a rod with a big conical hat. And uh, what used to be plants are now just uh, um, covered in subterranean insects and worms of uh, little tiny local ecosystems that have devoured what was once there. Bench. I'm going to quick, quickly close the door and say, guys, the guardian is on the other side. And it's huge. Okay. And, and it's got back a it fancy hat, too. Back it up. Back it up. <laughs> <laughs> All right. What's our game plan? Our uh, game? I thought we were going to get the gift from the artificer before we try to take on the uh, Leviathan. The guardian. Yeah. We still need a holographic display field container and a vibration cylinder. Okay. Uh, all right. I'm going to try to remember what was, was there directions in that room? Left or right? Directions? Like, did the room lead anywhere? Or was it a dead ah, end room? No, yeah. You saw a hallway to the right. Um, yeah. And uh, you saw an open room uh, that, that kind of opened up into a large banquet space to the left. Okay, I'd like to try to peek back through the doorway and see in whichever direction the door opens um, and see if I can see um, anything in that direction, like any information at all, but uh, without opening the door because he's terrified of that statue. <laughs> Yeah, it, uh, you see uh, uh, couches um, with uh, tables that have the legs of various animals like birds and lions. And um, it looks like this was a dining hall. Okay. I close because the door. Follow yeah. the others. Because it also heads, there's also like a different direction that we can go down at the bottom of uh, the other place go whatever's down that hallway as well. Uh, what else are we looking for? The vibration cylinder? And, and a holographic display field container. Where did he say that the, the, the cylinder was at? Art room. Okay. Not a dining hall. No. That's good. And the Guardian's not going to bother us then. Did it see you? I have no idea, but I'm not going to stick around and find out. Uh, do I hear anything if I listen at this door, like rumblings of machinery or anything? Uh, nope. Nope. Okay. Which direction? North or further west? I press my ear against the door. Uh, make a perception check. That's a dirty, dirty three. Oh or two. God. That's a two. Yeah. Well, you don't hear anything. <laughs> All right. Sounds good to me, brothers. And I go to open the door. All right. You uh, you open the door. Um, and now everybody can make a perception check once the door is open. Can I make another one? <laughs> All right. 18. Oh, what's my modifier? Perception. 16. I got a... 21. Uh, all of you, except Catawan, hear uh, the voice of a man cursing to himself. Does it sound robotic? Nope. Sounds like a Is it man. a comment? Does it sound Netherese? Nope. Sounds like uh, even like he's speaking in common. Gods. Gods, damn it. God. Haber's gonna cast participation on himself to make himself look more presentable. Say, uh, on our best behavior, boys, <laughs> and start marching forward. Uh, I think you care too much about presentation. Uh, <laughs> hey, look, you can make people think a lot of things just by looking at you, just saying. Oh, shots look fired. At, shots look fired. Look at where we are. Um, I don't think they're gonna care. Aber points at the cutlery in your hand, like, yeah, look at where we are. There's a lot of nice things here. When you Don't get, hate people just because they're dead. 
when you get here um you uh you get to this rubble and this room is blocked um like uh but you can see into it like there's large stones that have fallen and blocked the path but you're able to look into gaps in the stones you see a man on the opposite end uh like trying to work uh, a door to try to get it open and he's cursing to himself uh, I'm gonna faintly say, "Hey, did you do this on purpose?" No. Uh, whoa, uh, whoa, okay. Oh, gods! Who who are you? Oh, uh, who are you? No, oh, I can tell you're not one of them. I, I'm Gyarl. I I fell here. You fell here. Well, look. Uh, it happens sometimes. This place is pretty treacherous. There's holes. And, and, and people fall all the time. It's just, it's not just me. It happens. How, how long ago did you fall into here? Maybe, maybe a day, two, I don't know. Uh, where are you from originally before you fell here? Uh, Perinval. Oh, I, you don't recognize any of us? He, like, says shockingly. He, like, looks through the rocks, and he's like... I, like, hold the lantern up to my own hey. face. And he, you do that, and you hold the lantern up to your face, and then he looks, like, to the left of you, and he's like... The dire har. Oh, Ross! <laughs> <laughs> so he, like, he, like, holds it over his face. Oh, thank, thank the gods. I, I, oh, I'm so glad that you're here. I followed that crazy... That crazy woman into the woods, and uh, oh my God! Uh, I, then I we went to explore this place, and my brothers were torn apart by monsters, and I I fell here. Tempest be with you, brother. You think uh, maybe we can try to move some of this rubble out of the way so we can get through? I don't know the the slabs. They're they're the weight of uh, several carriages themselves. I I don't know. Uh, uh, we Ren, sister, sister Ren, weren't you able to do something with the earth with the door? Oh, uh, if you, if you will, please stand back, sir. Of course, of course. Uh, and uh, Ren will roll up her sleeves, do a little stretch, do another little stretch, and then cast mold earth and just start rolling boulders out of the way. You do that, and the boulders roll out of the way uh, as if uh, just effortlessly with your spell. And and uh, he's like, "Wow, they, you you you, all, you really are like they say." Yep, we're well, actually we're, we're actually a lot worse. Just you know, never meet your heroes, you know. <laughs> well, I, yeah. I'm very thankful to see you. Uh, we need to try to get out of here. This place. It's a nightmare, a place from the hills itself. And then when we get out of here, we need to try to avoid those people. That woman is crazy. Well, are, are, are you talking about the Ukard? 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 Yes, oh. you, you, the Ugors. You, yeah, you know them? They, they're not. They're not too bad. You don't know. Nice. They let us stay there all day. Hedley yeah. Nivet. She is a wicked, demonic woman. What makes you say that? She wants what's in here. She doesn't believe ah. in Uthgard. Okay. I found what out makes too you late. That? Did you want to join their cult or something? Cult? Well, maybe it is a cult. I didn't think so. You know, when Bjorn, when he went around town, uh, I saw him once, Bjorn, in the marketplace. And, well, to be honest, it seemed like things were just about as dangerous in the city as not. What he said made a lot of sense. So, I decided to make my way out of town. But I followed the Ugors and Headley, and uh, they, didn't, they didn't follow the sea with the other Uthgard. They say that Uthgardheim is to the north, you know. I don't know what to believe anymore. But I can assure you, that woman is mad. Well, listen, we're we're after something that's in here too. We're after an artifact that's protected by 
The Guardian. Apparently it's this really big, really powerful entity that's going to protect it. Or protect the artifact. So we're, we're looking for some other items to help get to the artificer, to help get an item, to help get another item. It's a whole thing. Uh, but listen, if you'll, uh, if you want, you can stick with us until we get our way out of here. I have to admit, though, it's kind of dangerous. It's more dangerous for me to stay here. All I ask is that we do this quickly. The longer we stay here, the more those monsters show up, or even worse, the people that used to live here. Uh, how long have you been here? Have you been around this place, or this is the only place, you, like the only room you've been in? Uh, this is the only room I've been in, but I had to run uh, before the ceiling cave in, caved in, and barely escaped some of the monsters that had made it in here. And I can hear noises. And if you're quiet and you listen, you can hear them too. Uh, and he points I would to this doorway. Tell everyone to be quiet and try and listen. You, uh, you hear the sound uh, of rhythmic scratching and scraping uh, that sounds like almost uh, mechanical uh, as some wet object is being slapped against uh, a metal object. So it doesn't sound like rats? No. Okay. I'm, is this I, an iron door? I appreciate that that's what you're the most worried about right now. Well, no, that's just, I, we, we already... We already uh, it found some rats, so I didn't know if there were more rats. Right. Ren is just kind of like constantly scraping the drool off of her. Just like she's also very not wanting to repeat the rat experience. What did you say, Caber? This door is like obviously jammed and blocked, uh, and um, it looks like probably something is like barring it on the other side. I like a cave in. Is it an iron door or a wooden door? Uh, it is um, a, uh, a a metal door or a metal wooden door. A wooden door with metal banding. I'd like to look up. Are there like any holes in the ceiling from where this guy fell through? Mm-hmm. But not, but not here. Um, it's like over here. Over there. I mean, like in the hallway. Mm-hmm. Okay, I'd like to look up in the hole and see if there's like any way we could climb up. Yeah, you could probably climb up. Um, uh, the ceiling is pretty high above you. There's this sort of like, it looks like there used to be a ceiling here. This whole structure looks like it has sunken, right? Like it's moved. And so mm -hmm. uh, the ceiling is gone. And instead you have this narrow area of earth that just goes way up. And then... Um, you do see like a hole. It looks like if you were to make the climb, you could probably make it up and out. It's like out, out of the whole place, like outside. Yeah, probably. Now, you're not sure, but it goes up to it goes up out of here, out of this structure. So there's not like any like uh, snowfall or anything coming from it, though. That's my question. Like any signs of actual nature coming out from there? Too far up. So no daylight or anything like that. No. Okay. All right, well, this you is say, a uh, You say there was a second door here? There's two doors, right? The one with, that's surrounded by rock? Uh, this door right here uh, is jammed. Like, something is keeping it from being open. He was trying to open it. This one is also has, like, a cave-in. Um, but um, you could make an investigation check. Can I attempt to help him with that investigation check? Uh, sure. How do you do that? Uh, I'm going to point out anything that appears helpful towards our investigation and like just like <laughs> observe and be annoyingly like hovering over him as he like looks through everything. Okay. For all, for all <laughs> 17. Okay. It passes anyways. Uh, kind of one. It's obvious to you that with Rin's spell uh, mold earth that you could probably clear away the obstruction on this door at least where it's where it's obvious and then you'd be able to access just at least that door and, uh, ah, but isn't that where that monster is? I don't think we want to do that it is where you hear that Sister noise. Ren Sister Ren, would you risk getting rid of this uh, pile of rocks for us please? 
Peter himself, uh, if you would like me to, I will cast Mold Earth again and patiently move the boulders out of the way. And it's such a useful that. spell. It's yeah, really great. Move all of the rocks out of the way, uh, and the door is free now. I uh, I tell, what's his name again? Nardhart or Nardhart? <laughs> you say all that in character. <laughs> yes, Natar. Natar, sorry, sorry, Natar. I'm terrible with names. Just awful. If I didn't know Tempest was my god's name, it it, it was a whole thing growing up and having to learn his name. It's it's terrible. Anyway, stay back a little bit, okay? Okay. And uh, I open the door. All right. You open the door and you see um, where the rocks have kind of been moved aside and fallen in where the, she cast the spell. A winding hallway that turns on the other side. Okay. Natar, stick with me. Okay. I want to look at Garl. What does he look like he did before he was here? Uh, he looks swarthy. Uh, he looks like, uh, like, you know, maybe, um, a young fellow, um, you know, late twenties or so. And, uh, I don't know what else to say about Gar, Gar, Gariel, Gariel. Now I'm saying I can't say his name. Um, but, um, I, actually you could do like a insight check. That would be pretty easy. I think this is something that Caber would be good at. Uh, 17. Ah, you notice uh, that girl's hands um, are knotted and large and meaty and covered in calluses. And uh, you can see scrapes uh, from, uh, from, you know, from his shoulders and things like that. It's clear that this man worked um, uh, either in wood cutting or in stone cutting because uh, just as, the, uh, as a man cuts stone and wood, so it cuts him back sometimes. You've seen that on people. All right. All right. Don't, I don't want to be going that way. Yep. You mind shining your light forward? Oh, uh, sure. I'll, and I just like, I like, go as this, I'm going to hand it to him, and then just like keep walking past him. All right. <laughs> I'm going to just look around the corner. Okay. You see a hallway that uh, dead ends into a door. Is the noise getting louder as we're going, I'm guessing? It is. Oh, of course it is. Um, and, uh... Big monsters. Yeah, I would even say uh, that this door is not even fully secured. I'm going to kind of move it like this. And you can see uh, on the other side as you're approaching, uh, there's these basins of water. And these, these uh, specters have tattered, like, um... Uh, moldy things that like um, well, like actual just mold and they're taking it from a pile of slop like, and then grabbing it and then like and they're moving it on a you know to on a wash basin in in old like moldy water and then they take it and then they throw it in another pile and they seem to be doing that endlessly and all of them are doing it all right, uh, Catawan, there's more of the locals through here. Uh, you have your blue flamey rock? Yep, sure do. And uh, I come forward. Uh, before he, like, go through, Caber's going to politely knock on the door. <laughs> like a tick, 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 tick. All right, when you go in, one of them looks up at you and then just goes back to working. And then they're all, like, just uh, endlessly taking piles of refuse and mold and stuff and like it's clothes and trying to wash it. And I would like to gross water. I'd like to cast precipitation on the water and see if I can clean it because that's what it can do. Okay. You do that. Um, and uh, which one do you do that with? Uh, the one I'm right next to this one. Uh, it uh, it says in uh, some language you know like you hear it say something and then uh, it takes something from the water and it gives it to you. Let me see if I can find what it is. Uh, damn it. Uh, maybe 
maybe this. Um. No. Okay, give me a moment. Mm -hmm. D100, please. Oh, boy. Let's find a D100. Uh, 34. Okay. He, uh, you find a, a string leading to two spongy things. Uh, and that's, a, he, he hands you that. I, I bow deeply and then examine it. Is it just a spongy? Sponge on a string. Uh, when you feel of it, they feel soft like cotton balls, but they're spongy and they keep their shape. Um, and uh, it's obviously designed to do something. You could make an insight check to see what, you know, but it'd be kind of difficult without taking some time to try to figure it out. I rolled in that one, so I don't know. Yeah, you're not sure what it does, but it, it's do it does something. It was intended to do something. I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing to the other pools, too. Oh, well, okay. Uh, they all thank you, and they uh, make the same noise, and you can roll a d100 three more times. Uh, 90 for 84. 84. I'll do it one by one, okay? 84. Okay. Um, he hands you a bag, uh, and when you look in, it looks like they're little toy animals. Okay. All right, I also got a 94. Uh, you, uh, he goes to a shelf nearby and opens a little, uh, a little um, box and takes a blanket out. And it looks like it's made of like a heavy leather hide, but it's a blanket. And I got a 45 too. I'm not going to remember that, so I'm going to have to write this one down. Uh, um this uh he finds a toy it looks like a toy it's a little like almost like a little ball bat um but there's a symbol on it that's glowing do i recognize the symbol uh no, it's draconic but you don't know what it says i i have draconic i know draconic but you don't know netherese oh do i recognize it as a symbol from outside uh, make an insight check. Wait, did you write them down? Did you write the symbols down, you said? Yeah, I have them in my journal. Okay, yes, it is like one of the symbols that you saw outside. Uh, 13. No, you don't need to, sorry. It, it does look like one of the symbols you saw outside. That is correct. Okay. Uh, I'm also going to cast Prejudication Clean Up the Water over here, too, that they're ignoring for whatever reason. And then I'm going to uh, hand the blanket uh, to old uh, Natar and say, hey, uh, it'll be okay. <laughs> All right. We're going to make it out of here. Thanks. Oh, hey, bro, I'd like to explore this area over here. Uh, okay. But there's... <laughs> he, like, heads creepily towards this area where it starts to look more like cavernous area. It's like, no, ah. this hall this hallway right here. Oh, okay. Oh, wow. Didn't know this was over here. You find a uh, hallway. Uh, sorry, I just figured if we could help them, they might, you know, not turn on us. Uh, They're already not turning on us. <laughs> I mean, like, more permanently. Garl, like, steps warily, like, side, like, the sideways through the room, like, to get away from these things, and gets his back against the wall, and he's like, wouldn't mind getting out of here if we can. Uh, that's the goal. Let's see, from that direction, I'll show you where the door is. There we go. And there's a door. Anything fancy about this door? It's a metal door, in this case, um, and it has uh, filigree and engraved banding. It looks like a fine metal door. Uh, hey, we might have made it to the office. 
I'm gonna listen to the door. It's quiet inside. I'm going to attempt to open the door. All right, you open the door and uh, you see um, a scene that, uh, let me bring it up here, see if I describe this better from this or not. Um, you see strange objects and things shattered among the floor in couches, very fine quality, uh, and waterfalls. And um, there are what used to be murals and paintings, but they've rotted and been peeled off and other places have fallen. And they cover the walls. The seats are covered and lined with gems. Uh, Baron, this might be where the vibration cylinder is then. You're muted. I'm going to see if I can't find anything that were on our list. The holographic display field container or the vibration cylinder. What do you look at? I would like to look in the mouth of this fish or frog statue. And I'm going to, like, yeah, look in the in the fountains and just kind of do a thorough search of the area. Look in, like, the potted plants and whatnot. I was mocked by my dice before rolling a five. Man, dude, gosh. It was almost a 16. Oh, man. All right, uh, make an investigation check, uh, Theron. Anybody can do it. What does a 25 get me? 25. Um, you check this fountain and you realize that these fountains uh, have uh, ports in them and valves and it looks like uh, and piping. It looks like they're meant to flow. So when you check the other fountain uh, where Rin was looking in the mouth, you like go past Rin and you go back behind it down in the bottom and uh, there's a mechanism with like valves and piping and you're able to pull it out and there is the cylinder uh, it's obviously meant to like draw fluid up and uh, cause it to flow out from the from the fish. Okay, that's the vibration cylinder. Are you sure? It doesn't look like it's vibrating. Are there any buttons on it? Uh, you is there anything to turn it on? Uh, it looks. Uh, you know that it would require some sort of energy or power. <laughs> oh. Okay. Yeah, I don't think we have... I'm not going to say... Power. I'm not going to make any jokes. I don't want to make anybody <laughs> uncomfortable. Oh, God. All right. It's like that South Park episode. It's always a South Park episode. <laughs> About the... All never right. mind. I'm not well, gonna I'm it. going to assume that's what it is. This is good. I, 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 I like this plan. While, while they're poking around at the um, fountains, I want to be examining my bat, and I want to just, like take the end of my dagger and like kind of fiddle with it and see if the sigil does anything when I poke at it. You do that? Uh, yeah. Okay. I'd like to stand a bit away from him then. Um, <laughs> uh, make a dexterity saving throw, Caber. <laughs> well. Uh, do you want to make it with advantage? Nice. Sure. <laughs> Please don't. That's a 17. <laughs> okay. Uh, all of a sudden, it starts to like burn hot, and uh, it explodes. The whole bat explodes, or just like the it er the sigil erupts. The sigil erupts. Um, let's see. Thirty-seven. You take half. Do you have any resistances to fire? I mean, I could cast it, but I I would have to cast it beforehand. Uh, you take 18 points of damage as an explosion goes off, um, and the bat uh, explodes into a fiery fireball. Uh, let's see, and we're going to see if anything noticed. For some reason, it didn't. Maybe because you all killed so many rats already. <laughs> Just a day in a life of a chaotic neutral, eh, Kaber? 
He were like, just, what's up? His like, mustache is all like singed and his eyebrows are like still flickering with flames. Just like, uh, whoops. Was, I just is, glare. Is it, like, still it. light? Like, is, does it look like he would do it again? No, it looks like the sigil's gone now. You realize uh, you could have like, over if the bat I... had been like used to hit something, the sigil yeah. would have gone off like that. Yeah. yeah, I realize that now. I was trying to figure that out without, you know, poking <laughs> it with a it's dagger. Floating it. I was like <laughs> trying to pick at it and like examine it. I don't know. I'm not a <laughs> wizard. I'm just a dude. <laughs> <laughs> Is the magical equivalent of looking into the gun barrel? <laughs> <laughs> Apparently so. Yeah. Okay. I check out this door up here. We don't know. Well, Which door do you check out? Um, that is a the one to the north. Heavy metal door. Um, I press my ear against to see if I can hear anything. All of a sudden, you hear a. Uh, I step back. Um, you step back, uh, and a cloud of gas erupts uh, from the wall. Um, and uh let's see you are there make a dexterity saving throw dexterity saving throws are not my throws let's see i believe in you you don't have to do much 13. oh good okay you dodge out of the way of this poisonous gas cloud and eventually it evaporates into the into the air i then go and attempt to open the door it's not locked um, you open the door and you see a, a hallway. After you, Caber. All right, all right. Uh, this is not blocked. Uh, you just have to like kind of sift through it. Um, your boots crunch against it as you uh, go okay. against sediment uh, rock. I'm gonna take my time as I walk through, and make sure that each step can hold my weight so I don't fall. You feel in places where it feels like it might like shift, but uh, you're careful. You're able to make it through without anything falling through. Do I hear anything from this intersection? Uh, you can hear, you all have been here before, and uh, coming from uh, this direction, you can hear the sounds of like the chipping against stone as the spectral entities that let you pass before up there. So I say we go this way. All right. The yeah, that's the direction we came from earlier. I love how you guys could get lost. Like this is this is this is happening. You're you're lost. Did you expect Are us we? to you know keep our awareness around us? You just Not said that we we know where we're at. You just told us where we were at. No, I just yeah. I told you you hear the sound. You asked that what you hear, and I told you what you hear. You hear the sounds of those things. I mean, maybe you're not lost. I mean, hey. I mean, I know, I know where we are. All right. Or at least I have a vague idea of where we are. Should right here, there be a marking that says, "Hey, do, out is this way." Yep. It, there yeah. is a there is a marking you find on the floor. It says, "Home is this way." Written, All right. Uh, Caberish. I think we should go back to the cavern. We just need to find the office. Have we yeah. been further to the? Have we been further to the west? This direction? Have we been this direction? I mean, that's I the direction we came in. I, I don't know. I don't know. Let's just go to the cavern. I don't want to be going up and down hallways. All right, I've done done that for far too long. Weren't you the one who didn't want to go in the cavern to begin with? Yes, I changed my mind. People can do that, okay? Oh, I know. We can ask one of the specters where the office is. Ah, uh, yeah, but oh, uh, actually, that's not a bad idea. Uh, I mean, we won't be able to understand what they're saying. No, but maybe they could lead us. We've been able to understand them before they talked to us. Uh, some of them, not all of them. Some of them, not all of them, yeah. Uh, hey, ghosties! Ghosties! You might want to wait for Catawan with his magic stone to get here. Oh, uh, yeah, good point. <laughs> and then one appears. Oh. What ghosties, do you oh, hello. Want? Could you point us in the direction of the offices? The former head office. The former head office. A, a, a ghost actually sighs, and it goes, <sighs> that <laughs> way. <laughs> and it's, uh, like, points uh, back this way. And 
All right. Could you take us there? <laughs> and it like goes. Looks like it might be taking you there. I'm gonna get these two to move together so that I can, so I can do that. Let's see here. Oh, that's not me. This um, is me. Let's see. It goes up here. Nope. Where'd he go? He went. Oh. To the wall. Oh, you're up here. <laughs> okay. Oh gosh. Oh hey, that's where you uh, pushed. Uh, what's what's its name? I, I, I didn't know what kill him. I didn't know what kill him. <laughs> I didn't know what kill. Him. Wait, we've been down. Look, ah, it's the door the room. The door is loose. And then this door, like like a like an angry, hungry dog, just starts bounding toward you. What? <laughs> that? I run back here. Uh, hey, ghost! Get him! Get him, ghost! <sighs> and it goes up and it says, <laughs> And the door's like, <laughs> And like, Hey, seems I was to pretty like nifty. Sit down and then it's like, <sighs> I wish we like could do that. Throws something like a stick and it chases after it. Hey, can we <laughs> teach us that? What'd you say? Looks at, just... It looks at you with hatred and indignation. Oh, just, you know, I'm just trying to learn. Uh, yeah, I, I don't think he's one to learn from. Um, he seems kind of annoyed at us. I think he seems pretty great. He's, he's been not... helpful. Sorry, I'm also shifting the uh, view of the Mythic Mountains here. Dang it. Wow, you're moving so fast and so jumpy with the light. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, uh. Opens oh, door. look. It was the door of. Oh. And uh, he goes into the dining room and then he traverses the dining room and. Now, where's where's the monster? Up. What, didn't you say there was oh my gosh, he's right there! Oh my gosh, he's right there! The, oh my gosh, he's over there too! The ghost is yeah. like... <sighs> I, I look at Caper confused. I'm like He like cowers behind a table. He's like, <laughs> look, look at him, he's huge! He's got that weapon, he's gotta be a guardian. It's a statue. He said he was mechanical, isn't he? It's a statue. It's not mechanical, it's stone. It's a statue. And uh, you enter into a room. Uh, he says, uh, "This is it. Be careful with the guardian." <laughs> and he cackles and uh, goes off. And um, uh, let's see here. Uh, um, you have all sorts of strange mechanisms in here, um, and. Um, uh, a bunch of robes and hats hanging against a, a wall and what looks like a bunch of I suppose you all would know it as like chairs for scribes with scrolls and papers and a bunch of sconces for, for torches and it looks like um, uh, the, 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 the floor is uneven here and it's kind of tilting to the left and uh, the structure used to have windows and some vines and roots have like grown down into the windows here where it's like slanted down to the left and some large uh, armchair at the end with a desk and a portcullis uh, I'm going to investigate the desk to see if I can't find the holographic projection shield you see shield strange container. arcane mechanisms uh, on these bookshelves I'd like to give them the help action Okay. Uh, how do you I, help? I also search for the, the holographic <laughs> display case in the bookshelves, and I help them out. Yeah, you, you together you start Theron going through. Guidance. Nice. Uh, Theron, uh, make an investigation check. That's guidance. with advantage, correct? Yeah, and advantage. And, guidance. Yeah, you think, and what's guidance? Have... Guidance gives me a D4, right? Yep. All right, I'm going to D4. Where's my D4? Here's my D4. Just I'd silently like silently stands behind you and pokes you in the shoulder. That's a dirty 20. Um, make an insight check for what I'm about to tell you. Um, all of a sudden, as you're fiddling around, all of a sudden this this uh, image shows up, the spectral image. And it shows up in multiple places. And you see these people in robes and conical hats. 
and they're holding the, their hands in robes and they have a sincere look on their face and they're speaking that strange uh, alien language like Hasvak Shatz like uh, that you don't understand but uh, yeah um, make an insight check as well 15 15 um, it, you realize that there are a lot of these and you find a, um, a holographic uh, projection system you're able to pry it out um, and you've, you've got it now um, but you realize that these seem to be magical recordings of people saying goodbye to their loved ones I grab an extra one for okay. like to investigate further at like my own leisure for like my personal things and probably Fink will probably find it you know interesting to look at all right so I grab an extra one with Caber's experience with doing rituals at the college and whatnot, would I know if the extra robes and hats that are hung here would be required to perform some type of funeral ritual for these undead spirits? Uh, no, probably not. Um, they don't seem to have any kind of... In fact, they don't seem to have a lot of scruples like, like say, the like the Uthgard do, or or the or what Catawan has taught. Uh, Catawan has taught a lot of uh, ritual and importance regarding death and honoring the dead. Um, but uh, these people don't seem to have that. In fact, they've welcomed you to simply take their stuff. Okay. I'd like to I'd look like at the desk. All right. Uh, you look in the desk. Uh, let's see. Are you going to say Catawan? Nothing. I'll wait until you're done. Uh, roll a, uh, roll a, um, D100, please. Three. A three. You find, uh, a, um, trove of coins that was kept here by this person. 1,400 silver pieces and 35 gold pieces. 1,700 silver? Uh, just and how many? Gosh darn it. Oh, wait, here I have it. It's uh, 1,400 silver pieces, 35 gold pieces. All right. Take that. I'll look through the portcullis. What do I see? All right, I'm going to remove Careful. the portcullis just so you can see it. Um, you see a room on the other side with uh, spiral stairs going down. That's probably where the, the guardian is. Probably. All right. Let's just no. get this stuff to uh, what's his the face? Artificer. Uh, Ogum Ogumzef Jazuna Jazunaya, whatever his name is. Joseph Ra. It's Drowsimadlaw. You all want to you, you all want to take this stuff to the artificer. Yes. yes. Is it okay if I don't have you go like all the way back through the dungeon? Uh, yeah, because I don't that's think. Yeah, that's that's fine. Fine. I'm loving the <laughs> we'll fact. Be. I'm loving the fact that this is like a for real dungeon where you guys, frankly, got lost. Like I'm loving it, but well, a complete blackout of everything is tends to do that. I actually I really yeah. like it. Because yeah, I remember when I was playing Calhawk in your dungeon, Jake. I got mm -hmm. lost. I got very lost. Yeah, dungeons are uh, there's a lot of walls. A lot of floors, and uh, not a lot of uh, landmarks. Wait, this isn't an Oaken's off Jerker Wall? Yeah, it is. Yes, it is. it is. Yeah, it is. I <laughs> thought that was the artificer. This guy is the artificer. The dead guy room. No, it isn't. What? It's got the forges. Yeah. Where are I, you? I am. Oh, I was down there. I was. <laughs> I see a lot of this map. That's what I was like. I was looking down at the other corner of the room, and I was like, "Wait, wait. okay, never mind." Okay, all fall right. down the hallway. I had a token in both. Did you sides. get lost again? I had. A, I had. Oh, a I see. I'm confused. Where am I? I moved you yeah. all because I didn't want to spoil anything for Jake, but I see where he was now. I think. Yeah. Okay. Hey, that's better. <laughs> okay. I'm um, confused. I present the items to. At uh, Ogun's Ogun's F. fellow student, thank you. He takes all these items and uh, he fire ignites from his hand as the forge lights up, and he starts working on something. Uh, and he finds a, there's like a, a out of a container. He takes uh, something else that um, 
uh, like an object, a metal object, and he um, starts to work on it. It takes some time. Would you all like to take a short rest? Yes. Yeah, that sure. sounds good. Okay, you guys can roll for whatever you need for that, and then after an hour of your short rest, because you guys can we talk it. while we're short resting? Can yes. we talk? Yes. Okay. Uh, and when you're done, I'll show you what he made for you. Brothers and sister, I think now is the time that we should take to strategize for the Guardian. Now. Hit it. We, everything we got that's not a spell, which means I'm not if, much help. If I that's could, not a spell. Uh, is it resistance to spells? Uh, no, it will absorb spell damage, I believe. What about Magic spells that don't cause it. damage? I don't think it will absorb those. But I think it like if you caught, cast a spell at it that causes damage, it will absorb the damage of the spell. Ogunzef, uh, if we hit it with magical weapons, is it going to absorb that hit? Many centuries. And he's like working on the forge. He's like, has passed since I designed the Guardian. The Guardian is empowered by spell fire but it can still be hurt by magical weapons. Thank you, Ogunzef. All right, so no magical attacks, but it'll still take magical damage from magical weapons. Yeah, so uh, I'm not, not sure what I can do to help other than distracting it, maybe? You can, can you cast Banishment, brother, Theron? I can try. I am not going to make any promises as to if it will work, but I can try. I think I know enough about the spell to be able to attempt it. So here's my thoughts, and let me know what you all think. I cast Bane on it first. I hold my concentration and then cast Bestow Curse and make it susceptible to more, more susceptible to banishment. And uh, then Theron casts Banishment. It disappears, we grab the artifact, and we get the hell out of there. That's my plan. And uh, you can do this with, uh, out a problem? I can try. Uh, if, you have, or... uh, if you have a plan, I'd like to hear it. Uh, my thing is, I've tried a lot in the past, and I don't think we have any more chances for trying. I think we need to be pretty sure about this. Uh, so, I uh, actually do have an idea, although I hate the idea. It's still an idea. Um, ooh, Rin gave me an idea because she can uh, change the way she looks, and we have those potions that change the way we look. We could use them to turn into something powerful. Something that could actually uh, buy some time. At least one of us. Maybe two if we have to, but uh, we we can use one of us to make a distraction for it. We'll also need those spells to get home, won't we? Uh, we have our candle if we need it. Candle? Ah, uh, yeah. I pulled the candle of basically gate. Can anybody uh, here use that now, Caper? Uh, I look around. Can anybody here use it? Well, what's the requirements for it? You have to be chaotic good. Uh, I don't know what I tell like Ren waves. Uh, yep, we're set. I toss it to Ren. Yeah, I'm chaotic good as well. All right. I look reluctantly at Ren, <laughs> Ren, but I don't have the balls to take it back, so I just... Nope, really, it's mine now. <laughs> <laughs> um... uh -huh. When you all uh, talk about this and... Um... He uh, pulls something out from steam, and uh, like a, a, things come from his what would be his eyes uh, as something is cooled. And he comes over and he's like, "This is a weapon of my people of great power. Who shall best, uh, who shall carry the weapon of my people? It can be anyone." Uh, it should be whoever doesn't have a cool weapon yet. Uh, Natar, 
You look like you're eating <laughs> Somebody. <laughs> All right, Carl. Carl, then. Come on. Step up. Take your place along our right. I mean, I have. I got my wand, so I have that. And, and you I also have, the have that magic rod. Yeah, yeah, the rod, rod of absorption and an immovable rod. So. Uh, I want to look at it. What does it look like, his weapon? Well, okay. Uh, he hands it to you when you reach for it. I know I don't reach for it. I just want to look at it. I just uh, want to see what it looks like before I, anything well, happens. Well, too bad he hands it to you, and you can oh. give it to somebody else if you want. What? It like weighs it down. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> ah, hot, very hot. <laughs> ah, do I have any idea how to use this? Uh, it has a trigger like a crossbow. It looks like half of a crossbow with some magical energy in it. Ah. Uh, would I, like, have proficiency with this? <laughs> I don't know how this works. Um, I can use crossbows. So, just so you all know, it doesn't require a proficiency. And you don't add a proficiency to it, so... Um, you can... Anyone can basically use it if they want. Uh, would this be useful against uh, the Guardian? The Golem of Death? It will not slay the Guardian, but it will hurt it. Alrighty. So we can distract him with it. I like, I hand it gently to Theron like it's like a used tissue or something. <laughs> like, ah, uh, here. I, I, I investigate it. Like, I want to see how it works, what it does. I don't want to know everything I can uh, about it. All right. I it, it, it looks like it uh, produces some powerful magical energy, uh, casts it forth from it in some way that you're not sure yet. It looks like it would work in every way, like a simple light crossbow. Uh, anyone could use it. Uh, whatever it does when you pull the trigger, uh, unless you want to try to pull the trigger, um, it uh, looks like anybody could do that. I relay the information to the rest of the group. Um, I don't really, I mean, does it look like it has like a limited number of uses? Or does it look like it could be used an unlimited number of times? You could ask uh, the Artificer. Yeah, I'm going to ask him. Like, it has 25 charges. After okay. that, only a most powerful wizard could eventually construct the energy from an item of power from our people that could power the device. Okay. Yeah, I relay that to the rest of the group. So I don't ah. really want to pull the trigger. Because, um, you know, we only have so many slots, so I don't feel like we should waste any of them. Yeah, okay. you, saved, okay. you saved every one of those for the golem. You said you can't use your wand, that'll work against it. If the trigger right. is held, All right. it will produce a more powerful magical bolt. Okay. Okay, so... Let's combine all our plans. What do you think? We, somebody takes a potion of true polymorph to become something that will be able to, to distract the golem. While the golem's being distracted, I do my thing and get it ready. And somebody can be shooting it while it's also being distracted. And then when the time is right, Theron can cast banishment. What do you think? Sounds okay. Uh, but if Theron's I... also casting banishment, maybe he shouldn't have the weapon. Who's mm -hmm. gonna change in true polymorph? I look at Red. Ah, <laughs> uh, you're the changer, as far as I know. Wait, you guys are gonna use one of the potions? Oh, yeah, you have three. You're gonna use one. Okay. Don't we have. You had five. Oh. You used oh, two. Oh, we had five. I thought we had four. Okay, that's yeah. my bad note taking. Uh, if I'm familiar, through polymorph, uh, the creature you can turn into is as powerful as the person uh, using it. And I'm not quite as powerful as some others. Uh, good point. I look at Catawan. Oh wait, you're casting that spell. And I'm yeah, casting not banishment. Caber looks reluctantly at his hands <laughs> and maybe it's a shake. Ah, guys, I don't know if I want to change. Well, uh, last you, last I mean, time I changed it, it uh, 
Well, I am. Uh, so, does that mean if I change, I won't be me anymore? If you don't want to change, then we don't have to, you know, utilize that part of the plan unless absolutely necessary. The gun will be a big distraction. Yeah, and if banishment fails, then I could take the polymorph uh, potion. And then I could attempt to cast banishment. Yeah. Okay. Um, who has the potions, then? I have one. And I, I thought we all had one, and I used mine, because I turned into a bird last time. I probably do have mine on me, then. So I'll yeah, look I at think... it. i pull mine out. Look at it. Okay. Uh... I guess let's do this. Well, what are you going to change into? Uh... I mean, yeah, if you don't want to change until after, until it, like, as a last resort, until if, you know, uh, our banishment plan fails, you could wait. I think the point is to do it so we have time to get the artifact. So, we, we, I'm not going to change it until we know where the artifact is. Okay. So I'm what just... are we? What are we gonna change into? Oh, uh, what are we? I thought. Well, I... What are you? What are you going to change into? Oh, uh, the most terrifying thing I've ever read about. What's that? Uh, give me one moment as Jake reads about <laughs> whichever <laughs> one it was. Uh, so true polymorph is a CR equal to my level, right? I believe that's how it works. Uh, how about a young silver dragon? That'll do it. That'll That's, do it. That'll you've, do it. You've seen a young silver dragon? I definitely <laughs> read about them in the College of Lore, and uh, I even like was able to pick up on a sudden, subtle hint when a bird was singing a song about dragons, so I think Kaber's pretty familiar with the idea. Nice. Uh, and True Polymorph doesn't have any regulations on having seen it. All Regular right. Polymorph might, but True Polymorph doesn't. And druids have that regulation. Druids are the ones that, uh, that makes sense. I was, uh, for whatever it's worth, I was thinking of, I am pretty good at moving. And if I take a hit, I can, I can always polymorph into stuff and keep going. Or not polymorph, wild shape. So I was thinking if we can identify where the artifact is, uh, I was thinking about making a run at it. Go for it. All right. Well, I will require an artifact to help me with that gun i need yeah. well i could do that too but i would i what i need is theron's bag of sand i hand him my bag of sand i i, I just look kind of confused it's like why he needs the sand to give him the sand you mean cow traps i have cow traps no it's just worse cow traps. no it has to be the bag of sand <laughs> i, I oh give my goodness sand. you're gonna do it aren't you <laughs> what? And she she nods solemnly. The impossible reverse Saru. The... I I give a, him a confused look. Don't ruin it. Um... There's a time and a space for everything. Okay. Okay. Caber, Caber nods uh, agreeingly. And Thomas, certainly. it's a Tuesday night. You got to work tomorrow. Fifteen minutes left to go. Hypothetically, you could kill this thing in fifteen minutes. You might not. It would suck. If we paused, right? Like in the middle of the combat. So, uh, I don't imagine it will take that long because it seems like the kind of thing where you're either going to figure it out in a few rounds and kill it or you're going to die. That's that's how it seems to me. I don't know. What do you all think? You want to pause it here right before you go into the room? Or do you want to take another hypothetically 30 minutes? And I'm game to, to, I'm game to stick. I'm game to stay up and... Finish it out if everybody else is okay. I'm good. I we know won't, we won't do the so stuff where we like. We'll just get the artifact. We'll pause right there, stop right there, or if we'll see where we go. Okay, so here we go. Um, let me, brothers. See. I have a few more words to say before we go. Now the hammer shall fall. The shield will splinter. The spell shall be cast. Tis a sword knight, a red knight. Hold formation. Stick with the plan. This is do or die. There's no turning back. If you find yourself surrounded by fallen brothers and sisters in a grand dining hall, drinking and eating your fill, fear not. You're already in Yisgard and are already dead. 
But again, I say fear not, for I will yank you and your soul back to us, Tempest Willing. Fight like the world depends on it, for our world does. It depends on us, for we are the heroes of the Vale. We must fight. Rage, brothers. Rage against the dying of the light. And, uh, you know, go I down and I, I start clapping. And, uh, you see a vast room here, um, with, uh, what looks like a fury magma and a, uh, a dais with a glowing object at the end and, uh, large statues, uh, <coughs> lining the, the room on either side. What do you do? And obviously bodies here in front of you. I would I, like to uh, cast uh, guidance on Theron. I would like to try and sneak over behind and hide one, uh, behind one of the uh, statues. Let me see what I happens when you do that. Back upstairs. Oh, okay. <laughs> then he like runs back up the stairs. Um, and yes, he does have this. And so this happens. All of a sudden you hear... And the ground shakes and uh, something comes up out of... Uh, the magma uh, near the um, the dais, and uh, let's see. I don't suppose that this room could be illuminated. Illuminated? Magma would get off some light, wouldn't yeah, it? Yeah, you said there's lava. I'm just—it's a room of like we can see what's around us oh, and everything. Oh, sorry, it's I thought I put it's light this there. bad spatial awareness. Oh, here you go. Oh, oh, oh wow! Hello. Okay. And uh, this thing starts to walk towards you all, and you can roll for initiative. Actually, we're going to find my good dice. All right, that's what we want to see. That's not what we want to see. 30, 20. Okay. Darren got a 20. A 5. Oh, no, it got 19. Oh, no. no. Thank you. Got a five. Uh, what did Caber get? Eleven. Caber got an eleven. Metal music up here. And uh, Rian? Uh, nine total. Uh, oh dear. Nine. Rian, and he got an eleven. Okay, uh, the first person able to act is Theron. All right, so plan was for me to try and distract it, right? Until we could get banishment. Yep. All right, uh, I pull out my pistol, or what, you know, whatever Theron thinks it is, and hold, you know, hold the pistol, or hold the thing to let off a big charge and try and shoot <laughs> at it. You're letting off a and big I'm, charge? Yeah, and then I'm going to try and, like... You can use. I'm gonna, I'm gonna say that you can use. I'm gonna break the rules. You can use a number of charges equal to your movement, uh, and any additional bonus action you could take, and then the action for your turn. So you could do one charge, two charges, or three, depending on how much you actually do. Uh, we're gonna do three charges. So you're gonna stand in like, place. Yep. And then I, I would like to see if I can't like duck or hide kind of behind the statue. You could afterwards. take half cover. Uh, if you do three charges, if you do two, you can fire and then go back and use your movement. We're going to stick with half cover and hope that I don't die. All right. Uh, and you're trying to distract it, right? Mm-hmm. I'm, I'm trying to hit it. Like, I mean. Yeah. Okay. Here we go. Uh, roll. Uh, let's see. That would be 96. Jeez. <laughs> I don't think I have 96, but. Let's see, I have three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I have 96. All right, that would be. And you can add your dexterity modifier. But then the damage you do not. I'm sorry, you got to roll to hit. So, you know. <laughs> I was about to say. <laughs> it's just, that's a freebie. Yeah. It's a freebie. Uh. Um, okay, so do I add anything when I roll the hit? Do I add my dex? Dex, yeah. All right. But not your proficiency. Uh, it's just... All right. Does a nat 20 oh, hit? 24? Yeah, buddy. <laughs> oh, double crap. damage. Oh, Does my gosh. Double damage? So that's 18d6? Oh, my God, you're going to kill oh! this monster. 
Okay. Let's um, go, Theron! <laughs> I, I, I need a the calculator. The plans of mice and men. Uh, calculator. Nice. That's awesome. You can do it in roll 20. I mean, because that's a lot. That is a lot of math. So you can just like do like, you know, 5d6, 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 and then another 3 or, or, or you can just... Oh, that's right. You can only do up to 5 on... That's so weird. They could probably make a macro and do more, though. Man, if we... If Farron killed the thing <laughs> before... Anything else happens? Like we step down here, the video, you see Aaron like hide behind a statue, and just like. Uh, sixty-eight damage. Um. Yeah. You uh, you fire this thing and you draw this energy and stay out in the open um, or behind it, and then this huge bolt of magical energy slams into this thing, like um, uh, and uh, smoke. And uh, fire and magma fill the room, um, and then it just starts. It just keeps walking forward as if nothing hit it at all. Oh God! I hope I distracted it. And it is coming towards Theron for sure. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not surprised. Um, it would be its turn. Hello, Sean. Wait, is Sean the monster? <laughs> Am I the monster? That would be amazing. Um, <laughs> yeah, let me just send you the. I, that's I waiting for Theron Sean this... to be the villain of the campaign. <laughs> there, and this uh, this thing starts walking towards you, and you see energy glowing up on its uh, its head as a a, a thing of energy it looks like it's about to come forth from it. But then you see Sika uh, nearby uh, the thing. Sika, what do you do? I emerge like this, Jesse. I look very confused because I thought she abandoned us. Mika, holy crap, you're alive! I don't know where I've been! <laughs> I don't understand <laughs> what's going on! I know I must kill. <laughs> I must kill! <laughs> okay. What do you do? Um. <laughs> I'm sorry, I was totally focused on Halo. I have no idea what's going on. Big giant monster thing. Doesn't get hurt by magic. Does get hurt by magic weapons. Uh, Correct. Yeah. I and also apparently took sixty-eight damage and then didn't even flinch. Yeah, so if you have a gun, now's the time. <laughs> <laughs> I have like a missile launcher or something. Um, actually, I don't have a gun, but I do have something OP. Where, unless I used it last time. Nope. Here it is. Uh. All right. I'm going to use <laughs> relentless onslaught. Okay. Wait, before I do that, do we want it going into the thing or out of the thing? Out of the I, thing. I see the red thing. I out imagine, of the thing. Yeah, I imagine we have to get we have to get past it somehow. So. Yeah. Okay. I didn't know if it was like a portal or something. Okay. Um. All right. Well, then, yeah, I'm gonna do that. It does seem to be blocking the path. I rolled a two. Oof. Which is not helpful against this creature that is larger than me, since that's for a creature of the same size. I assume it's much larger than I me. I would allow it, but that still didn't work. Damn. Well, the two was just for Relentless Onslaught, not like a strength check. Okay. Uh, so it's a creature the same size as Sika is pushed back a distance equal to half Sika's movement. So, like, can I move it 15 feet, like, over this way? <laughs> I'll make a. Why don't we make? A, why don't you wrestle this Netherese Death Golem and make it like a, a uh, athletics check. All right. And then if you uh, pass. does a twenty three work? Oh, uh, actually, <laughs> uh, actually it does. Uh, Sixteen plus seven is twenty one. So uh, yeah, you lock mm. lock horns uh, in the the, the the belly of this huge death golem and it starts to like scrape across the floor as it starts pushing back against Sika. Uh, where do you push it? This general direction. You push <laughs> it out of the way. And I just like start shouting, go, go, go. 
And uh, anything else? Um, I'm assuming that was my action action. Um, so maybe. Yes, I go into a rage in the wrong order, and that's that. <laughs> Very well. Which, wide. had it been in the right order, would have actually given me a 25. <laughs> All right. Uh, all of a sudden, uh, energy. Uh, this thing's pushing. Like it starts going towards Theron, and then you just see like Sika run in and just like, you know, linebacker tackle this thing with her horns, <laughs> and then just lock with it, and then it starts pushing against the ground against her, and she pushes it out of the way. And um, uh, let's see. Huge amounts of energy erupt from its uh, from this thing that's on it. I'm going to describe what you see on this creature uh, again uh, you see um, it looks like uh, on its back there's this like thing that's glowing and then it's got two uh, eyes that are glowing um, and the eyes like this energy coalesces um, make a uh, dexterity saving throw me? Yes, Sika. All right. Ooh, eight. You, you have, have advantage, advantage because that's you're a barbarian. I think that's a thing. Yes. But that was much, much worse. <laughs> <laughs> so I'll take the eight. Oh man. Okay. Oh Let's dear. Oh dear. Uh, I don't Sika, like the sound of all those dice. You take... Oh. Uh, that's 23. Is 43 damage. Damn. Even with all the uh, power-ups you gave me, that is still most of my health. Um, but well, not all of it, so that's good. This, uh, this blast uh, shoots out from this thing and hits the ground... Um, and uh, chunks of the floor fly everywhere uh, as this blasts next to, to Sika, but it doesn't actually hit her square in the chest. If it would have, it would have turned you into nothing. You can actually see where when it strikes the ground, most of the slabs of rock have just been turned into a fine gray dust. And it floats in the air. And uh, Sika is locked horn uh, with this thing and pu pushing it away. Um, it is uh, Kaber's turn. Uh, Cabra looks over to Cadwan and goes, Regardless of what happens next, please remember me as I was. And I wink at him, uh, giving him bark inspiration. And then that's my bonus action. For my action, I'm going to consume my true polymorph. Take the form of a young silver dragon. Oh, let me and see if then, I have a dragon thing. Go ahead. And then I will, that's my action. So I'm going to use my 80 feet of fly movement to get me as close to the creature as I can. With your dragon token. And it's a large dragon token. Haber, can you take me with you? <laughs> <laughs> can can I pick up Catawan and take him with me? I don't see why not. Alright, then can I definitely do that. Too? Yeah, I imagine I just grab you both. Like, and then I yell after them. Like, <laughs> grabbing the artifact is the number one priority. Like, don't try and kill this thing, just try and get the artifact and get out. Right. That's actually really smart. Yeah, that's actually really smart. We should just grab the artifact. All right. grab it and that's kind of why I moved him out of the way that was so the plan. you guys so go, go, go. I that was I, the plan. So I have 80, 80 feet of movement, so I would you get us right there. Token now. Okay. Uh, that would get us right here, and I brought them with me. Okay. You guys can uh, move so they're tokens. both here. Uh, and uh, I gave him a bark inspiration. That's the end of my turn. Okay. And I'll give this dragon bright light now. 60. There we go. Yeah, like the lantern is like stuck uh, at like the edge of his mouth. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, that makes it uh, Ren's turn. Jake, you did the thing. You are a dragon in a dungeon. <laughs> you <laughs> the game. Dungeons and dragons. Yeah. All right. Let's see. I have a tool that allows me to measure distance. Testing. <laughs> and I'm not doing it successfully. There we go. I would like to uh, movement dash up to the artifact. 
you uh, run across the magma. Uh, the, the the heat licks your face on the stone path as you get to the dais, and you see a glowing uh, geometric object uh, floating above the dais. All right. I would like to, can I, as a bonus action, retrieve this object? You got it. Okay, what I do, finally, after all this time, everything has led up to this moment, and I take out the bag of sand. <laughs> and very carefully, I have the bag of sand in one hand, and I use my other hand, and I place it on the object, and right as I lift the object up, I place a small bag of sand where the object was. Nice. It yes. takes the object away. <laughs> you got it now, Mason. It belongs yeah. in a museum. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I get it. I was... I know that reference. So... <laughs> working so hard to keep my face straight when you were like, why? I, after so many years, I figured out why the Scholar's Pack has a small bag of sand. I was like, I figured it out. <laughs> All right. It's a really advanced joke. What else do you do? You're probably right, actually. Uh, I got 10 more feet of movement, I think. So I'll measure that out and move it. Do -do -do. All right. And I end Their my turn. music playing. You like to move it, move it. All right. Uh, that makes it um, Catawan's turn. All right. Catawan is going to alter the plane a bit. And uh, he's just going to straight up cast Banishment. All right. Saving throw, right? Yeah. Which he has advantage on. Oh, no. But it may not matter anyways. Let's see. Um, depends. Uh, what type of saving throw? Charisma. Oh, interesting. Very interesting. What's the saving number? 14. Attacks are kind of upset. Whenever the golem subject of force damage, that's not it. Mutable form uh, wouldn't alter its form. This doesn't alter its form. Um, no. Has advantage. It uh, still got a five because it's got a negative charisma. And uh, that's it. Uh, so uh, for a one minute, I believe, correct? Um, the golem like like and you cast it into another dimension and it disappears in front of Sika. Um, yeah! Holy crap! Awesome. Okay. I'm really Time to glad. Run. I'm glad it didn't roll Time high run. because Sika would be uh, probably dead. Toast. All right, everybody, gather to can uh, gather together to the candle. To the candle. Candle. I mean, hang on. Before we do the candle why, why, why thing, we, you have a dragon. Can I dragon? Yeah. Can I dragon breath a hole in the ceiling and get us out of here? Uh, yeah, because you identified a hole in the ceiling. So if you just go up yes. and then you go through. The I'm hole. gonna ride the thing. Yep. All right, uh, All right. You, you, uh, burn a freaking dragon hole in the ceiling and, uh, you know, and, uh, blast your way out into the night sky. And then all of my friends hop on my back. And we escape. Holy cow. Hey, Ross, I'm going to send you a question as a whisper. I want you to answer it as a whisper. Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, I mean, I'm. Oh, Nathar. Oh, yes. Okay. Yes. Uh, 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 it's okay. Uh, oh, Nathar, no. and, Nathar and Garl, they're they're dead. I don't know how to. Uh, I don't know how to do a whisper. How do you do a whisper? It's slash w, w space uh, S for Sean or F for Faith actually, because I have it okay. as Faith still because I'm stupid. Rip. Man, I can't wait for my turn in this <laughs> scene. Okay. No, um, yeah, but what was the word? The the name of the thing? The place? I have a plan, you see. Oh god, you guys. I, I don't I don't understand what was going on. There were all these screaming people, and, and one of them was kind of answering my questions. I think I was somewhere called Gunthus, and there was this... 
this crazy monster and these bubbles and I just don't understand what the hell is going on. Oh, you were, you were, you were wherever Nathar was. I'm sure got him. it was no one's fault. <laughs> okay. I, um, I just make a mental note that I somehow feel this is Ren's fault. <laughs> you're you're flying through the air uh, now in the the cold air uh, back on the back of uh, Kaber. And uh, it's definitely going to attract attention. Unless you have something to prevent that or something. Nope. Nope. I have a, I have a gun. I'm going to, like, <laughs> I have a gun now. <laughs> and I have dragon breath, but I feel fine right now. So, you start yeah. firing your laser gun on the back of your silver dragon friend. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I'll probably save the laser ready. gun for, uh, like, whenever there's a right. serious threat. Sure. But... Jack, what do you want to do? What are we saying? Uh, can I see these things? Uh, yeah, you see an army of demons beneath you, and some of them are flying in the air in formation. All right. Well, once they get close, if they're coming towards us, I'm gonna use my uh paralyzing breath. Okay. Is it uh, a saving throw? Yes. Each creature must succeed a DC 17 saving throw. Okay. It's Constitution. Uh, one of them passes. Uh, then the rest of them are... Which I imagine means they can't flap their wings and thus fall. Okay, uh, let's see here. Um, let me see if they have anything that can prevent that or fight back. Um, uh, um, nope. Uh, oh wait, she does. Let me see if they do. Okay, they may actually... Nope. Okay, so only one, but I'll say it's the one that passed. So actually, all of her minions, just exactly, they fall out of the sky, and you hear a hissing, a hateful hissing from this one as she, like, runs away. Okay. Hey, run, you coward. I'm going to use my movement, which is 80 feet of flying, to get back home, whichever way home is. Okay, yeah, you do that. It's It's definitely this way. Okay. That's the way I go. Okay. Um, all your... Oh, sorry, now you can move all, all your friends with you here. Um, yep, and then a whole bunch of them like dive in to try to attack you. Same thing. I'm going to start casting uh, Scorching Ray at them. Oh, do you want to use your thing? My gun? No, I have Scorching no, no, Ray as a spell. Your, uh, your Scorching Ray uh, uh, ability. No, no, just my my normal Scorching Ray spell. Okay. Uh, let's see. One of them... Let me check the other one. Okay. As uh, a saving throw? No, uh, I rolled a hit. Okay. So that would be a... That would go... A 17... That hits. 24 and 26 to hit. Um, on the back of this dragon, your f hands turn into a flamethrower in the air um, <laughs> as you you uh, drive off all of these uh, these demons um, in the fire, except for one who just flies in the fire and doesn't seem affected by it at all. However, she nah. hisses in anger and uh, flies off as she sees that she's outmatched. Do, I, do you want me to roll for damage or just not bother? I'm sorry. I thought that was damage. I mean, you can roll no, for... No. No, that was rolling to hit. <laughs> I thought it was a huge number. That you, we'll roll, roll for damage anyways. Well, no, because I, no, I it's okay. basically I cast three bolts of fire. Oh, wow. Okay. Um, And I got like... Uh, let's see. The lowest I got was a 17. And the, so basically I rolled three bolts of fire. Each one does 2d6 damage. Oh, okay. I'll see if you kill one. Ah. Uh, where'd that dice go? There'd that dice go. So that would be... During 27 my... damage. I'm sorry. 27 damage total. Uh, it doesn't kill them, but it does chase them off. Uh, Gabriel, what were you going right. to say? I was going to say, during my short rest, do I know what my sponges on a string do? We'll get back to your sponges on a string. Okay. We'll, we'll, we'll get back to that one later. You know? Cable about what? 
Um, yeah. And anyways, I don't want to hold Thomas that. up uh, anymore here. Uh, this is this is what happens. Um, you um, let's see here. Uh, da, 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 da. Oh jeez. Okay. Um, Kaber, uh, with your friends on your back, um, and with the, uh, the object and power in hand, uh, you fly back over the gates of Perinval City into your home. Um, the, uh, the demons, um, outside the gates, uh, mystified and unable to stop you, uh, with this power that you have. Um, where do you land? Uh, I imagine the spell's, like, running out as soon as we get into town, so I imagine we land, like, somewhere near the day gate. Yeah, you land right inside the day gate with the object of power, and, um, uh, as they see you, uh, like a dragon, you know, like in these people on your back in the dire heart, you, uh, dismount and everything. Um, yeah, I imagine, like, as he, I'm coming down, the spell's, like, fading, so, like, the wings begin to deteriorate and, like, rip away. Um, and then, like, all this mass just, like, hits the ground with a thud, and when it does, it kind of, like, evaporates, and then, like, turns into a plume of smoke, and then we all just kind of, like, roll out of the plume of smoke. Yeah, the, the guards and soldiers that man the day gate in the marketplace with the civilians, uh, love it, and, uh, they assume correctly that you've done some great heroic deed and brought, uh, uh what could be the salvation of the city back, um, and, uh, you make it back safely. They love it. And they're all cheering you. Caber gives uh, himself a hug. <laughs> oh, thank goodness. Catawan comes up and picks you up in a bear hug and hugs you. I was like, now that's what I call a good landing. Ah, uh, but Another don't happy thank landing. me. Thank her. Thank she, She's the one that came up with the amazing idea. I thought that you made an excellent dragon. I uh, think Darren was an excellent shot. I think we all did a damn good job. Sika, good job, boys. Welcome back. Uh, I mean, no one like... even mentioned Sika. Like, no one, like, <laughs> Sika showed up and pushed this thing out of the way and made it all possible. Nope, she's come down off her high energy, what the fuck's going on moment. She's just like, eh. Sika did what Sika always does run in and almost die, and uh, that's that. Saves us, yeah. You know, Sika stuff. Yeah. yeah, almost died saving your asses. You're welcome. <laughs> All right. Well, um, that is it for tonight. We, so we ran about 13 over. Um, and you will also have got uh, the XP that would take you from level 4 to 5, which I will post later. Um, oh, delightful. 